Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome back to another Nighttime Pouring Edition. I'm Mina. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, tonight we're going to be doing something a little bit fun, I think. It's gonna, we're going to see how it goes. Uh, this is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in, and I have sprayed the back of the canvas with water. So let's get that out of the way, and I will show you this amazing color palette we have. Tonight, the star of our show, where did I put it? There she is is a Decor Americana Decor Metallics in rose gold. I had seen my sweet Sarah Mac using this rose gold in a pour and it was so pretty. This uh, rose gold and I have had a kind of tumultuous relationship. Um, <laughs> I loved it when I first saw it and thought, oh my God, that's so beautiful. And I tried to use it in a pour and it just, the first time I used it, it took over and it was everywhere. The second time I used it, it barely showed up. And I tried it three or four more times and I just decided maybe it wasn't a color that I really like to work with. But I saw Sarah doing it, so we're gonna give it another shot. Um, yeah, so that's the rose gold. The paint is all mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and the paint and Floetrol, leaving a slight mound on a mound before it melts. Trace pretty much disappears. So it's it's got some body to it, but it's not super, super thick because we are gonna do a straight pour tonight. So that's the first of our metallics is the rose gold. The second one is my darling, my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Beautiful, yes, makes me happy. <laughs> this one is slightly thicker, because um, I like to keep my gold thicker to make sure it actually shows up. If it's too thin, the metallics will just make like a shiny puddle on the surface and not really, you know, I like to see ribbons of the color, not just a haze. So the third one we are using is also Decor Americana Decor Metallics. This one is Sterling Silver. Beautiful stuff. And this is so pretty. It's like a very white silver. It's not dark at all. So I'm interested to see what happens with these three metallics together. And I'm also using three opaques. So the first one we have is Golden Prussian Blue. Get that out of the way. And I love this color. This is just dreamy and deep and luscious and mysterious and amazing. So gorgeous color, Prussian blue from Goldens. This one is also Goldens. This one is kind of new for me, is the Cobalt Violet. So I love the Permanent Deep Violet, but I was in the Blick store the other day and they didn't have any. <laughs> and there wasn't even a tag on the shelf for it anymore. So I asked the nice lady at the counter and she had said, Golden is having some issues getting some of their materials to make some of their colors, but hopefully those issues are gonna be resolved soon and some of those colors are gonna be back. So like the permanent deep violet that I love is not there. So this is the cobalt violet hue. And we're gonna work with this one tonight and see what happens. And I think this should be pretty with the rose gold. We'll see. She's, she's a temperamental little thing, that one. So, <laughs> okay, so that's the cobalt violet. And then last but not least, we have our Payne's Gray from Golden's also. And this one is just, this dries nice and dark and lovely. So knowing that, I like to use this as a base coat sometimes or as a flow extender. And I also like to use smaller amounts of this than the other colors because if I go crazy and I use a lot of this, bigger, thicker layers of the Payne's Gray, then I end up with a very dark painting, which, you know, light, dark, light, dark. You wanna layer your cup with contrast. Okay, so those are our colors. Okay, so let's get started. For a 24 by 30 inch canvas, we need about 25 ounces of paint. That's a 16 ounce cup. This is a nine ounce cup. It'll be perfect. So we're gonna layer the big one first and we're gonna do a dirty pour, um, a dirty cup, straight pour. So a dirty cup is when you just pour some into the bottom and then you pour the colors one at a time up from up high so that they sink down under the surface. A layered cup would be when you pour it a little down the side. And we might do this one as a dirty one and this one as a layered one. We'll see. Okay, so what are we gonna start with? Hmm, I'm gonna put a little bit of silver in the bottom. Ooh, wait, no. I'm gonna put some Prussian blue in the bottom as our first base color to pour my other colors into. And then I'm gonna put some silver in from up high so it sinks down under the surface. And then we're gonna go, all right, we're gonna put a little bit of the cobalt violet in from up high, a little bit more. Okay, now we're gonna go for temperamental lady. 
Rose gold. Okay. Now we're gonna come in with some of the Payne's gray. Ooh, it's pretty already. And some silver. Did you guys see the moon? Oh, so pretty. And some gold. They haven't put gold in there yet, have we? Okay. I'm gonna go back to our Prussian blue again. Cobalt is doing pretty things. Let's put some more cobalt in there. And some more of the rose gold. And some silver. And one more shot of gold. Can we do it without making the prep overflow? <laughs> okay, so that's pretty cool. Now, I want to use some gold as a thinned out flow extender on the bottom of the canvas. So I'm gonna take a little bit at this thickness and keep it in my cup. So for that, if we wanna layer that cup. And now with this one, I'm gonna add some water to it and I'm gonna thin it way out. So right now we have, it's a 16 ounce cup. So that's probably like six ounces of paint. I'm gonna add a lot of water to it and thin it out because this is really thick. And this is one of the reasons that I kept it thick because I knew I wanted to put this as a, as a base coat. Okay, so now it's a little thinner. Now I want it really thin, because first of all, I want enough paint to cover that canvas. Okay. We don't need it to be to have a lot. We just want a thin layer of there, because we're using this as the base coat, so that when we pour our paint over it and we tilt, then we get some beautiful cells popping up, which we will anyway, because <laughs> they're already popping up. Okay. A wandering straight pour. Okay, so we're gonna put down a runway of gold. I'm just gonna go the way I like doing it to start off the edge. Okay, we'll keep this for a minute and see what we want to do. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yeah, baby. Okay, here Let's we do go. It. looking really pretty. So I do want more contrast in there. I'm just going to take some of this and I'm going to put a very, very thin line along the side just for some contrast in there. That is a little thinner, but that's okay. Get some more corners. All right. So now, because this is also dark, I want to have more of the silver and more of the rose gold in this cup. I'm not going to, we're going to, this is the same nine ounce. We'll just use that one that we've already used. So we're going to start with, well actually no. <laughs> we'll start with a little bit of the Prussian blue, just a very small amount. And then some silver. And then some of the cobalt. And some of the rose gold. A little shot of pains in there. And another bit of silver. More of the cobalt. And I'm gonna do one more shot of rose gold and then we're gonna pour it. Okay, so you can see the top of this one has already got a lot more silver and rose gold in there. Alright, I'm going to pour half of this on this side and half of this, well, probably more of it on this side than that side because that side's pretty loose. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. That's a great color, the silver with the Prussian. Okay. 
Now we're gonna go along this side, yeah? I think I'm just gonna go over here because that's the biggest area, ready? Yep. Ooh, ooh is there any color in there? Like, that's all fresh and blue. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of silver in. Some cobalt. And some rose gold. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Are you ready, darling? Mm -hmm. Okay. See yeah, how that's giving us that nice, those silver fingerlings? And the line of silver is going to be along this Prussian blue edge. So that's going to give us that contrast that we want between this and this, which is the darker stuff. So this is going to be pretty cool. Okay. Uh, let's just spread this out real quick. Just to cover up our edges. A little bit more on there. And again, this is so that when that paint rolls over this, you might get some pretty gold cells popping up. Okay, that's good. This one out a little bit. I keep forgetting to paint the sides before. I always want to, then I forget. I get so excited and I don't want to paint. <laughs> I think sometimes I drive each way a little bit crazy. It's okay. not a long drive though. <laughs> well, at least we're there together, darling, you know? <laughs> what is it my mom used to say? The rocks in your head? The holes in the <laughs> okay. All right, that's pretty good. Okie dokie. Let's do this. Let's torch it first. But this is looking pretty cool. I love that line of gold cells, and these are so pretty. That's the rose gold. Okay, so far that's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I love this line here, it's beautiful. All right, well good, it worked, I'm happy. Okay. Here's Georgie. This is so pretty in here with the Payne's gray and the violet. It's like this beautiful grayish silvery purple. That's very cool. Okay, we're gonna go that way first. Are you ready, darling? Yes, darling. Walk it down. So possibly the only thing that wasn't too smart was putting that line of gold that was already thinned out between the layers. That might give us some interesting effects. So we're walking down the canvas to spread the paint out evenly. that edge. And bring it back to the middle. I'm going to take that part down off of that corner real quick first. So we don't have to come back to it. Come back to the center. Oh man, I hope that gold doesn't mess me up. I really like this. I don't want to ruin it. We might have to sacrifice something because otherwise that's being thin is just going to smash into uh, All right, let's see what happens. You see it moving faster? Okay, so. I'm going to 
two lines of thick paint, don't put a line of thin paint in between. <laughs> Even consistency is important. But don't beat yourself up if you make a mistake, you know? Just learn from it if you can. Try to remember. You didn't know you were going to do that at the time. That's true, but I had regular thick gold paint sitting there in a little tiny cup I could use. But you didn't know you were going to do that. Mm -hmm. This is kind of cool, actually. It's kind of got this like, not that I'm Van Gogh, but this sort of starry night feeling mixed with the scream from Edward <laughs> Okay. Which one should we lose? This or this? This. This? Okay. Right, so we might, I think we might have to report this one. Because that's irritating me a lot and it's making like wavy yet yeah, now. We're going to pour another cup. So, don't do that. <laughs> Recap, what I did was I had a, a cup of thick paint that I poured that was really pretty. And then I put some gold around it that was much thinner. And then I had another cup of thick paint on the side. And so that's why that center one was moving differently. because it was a thinner consistency and that's what's giving us all these wiggles and whatever. I mean, this could probably be really, really cool, but I'm gonna record it because I really like this. I wanna make that happen again. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get that out of the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a clean cup. Maybe we'll layer this one. Use that as a base. Make me nuts if they stick together like that. Okay, so, Russian blue. Silver, cobalt, rose gold, gold, gold. This is the thicker consistency one that I saved. I'm coming with some Payne's gray. This is going to give us that kind of smoky look. Silver again. And the Prussian. Cobalt. Let's go use it up. Rose gold again. very cool. So having that silver on the outside is the silver and the gold and the rose gold. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's torch that line.
Oh, that's really pretty though. It's all right, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. Okay, so we have more paint over here and less paint over here. So we're gonna take this this way first and then that way. Okay, here we go. And this side's moving beautifully. We're gonna let that just roll on down. So the rose gold was definitely behaving better and I think the reason for that is because I kept it thicker on purpose. I didn't used to mix it much thinner, much less concentrated and lately, the last couple times I've tried it, I've mixed it more concentrated. So what the heck, just <laughs> making a mess. This is awesome though, I love the Payne's Gray over there. This is actually the rose gold and the gold and a little bit of silver coming up through there. This is beautiful. I love that. Love that. This is probably going to dry beautifully. I love this part. I really like that's the older part, right? And I like these. This is going to be beautiful. So that's cool. Okay, we're going to torch it again. As soon as I get all the paint off my arms. <laughs> okay, all right, let's torch this. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, ma'am. This is so cool up here. I'll take this down just for a second, see if anything else wants to come up. So what we're doing with doing that is we're stretching out the paint. A little wine paint. We're dripping in our painting. We are stretching out this thinner, this edge, when we go back and forth a little bit to make it thinner so that cells can pop up like there are on that side and like there are on this side. Okay, I love this. That's so cute on top of that blue. This is really pretty. Okay, this is good. Okay, so look at these pink. There's your hot rod flames, baby. That's for you. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> This is really pretty. I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see it that way. I think it needs to go this way. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And there's not too much of any one thing. There is a lot of gold on there, but there's like a nice section there and a nice line there and a nice bit here. So it's, and there's a lot in this area. And there's a lot of gold, but I also do see the rose gold. I do see that silver, sterling silver color is very pretty. I love these little like bubbles, like rows of wine. So pretty. All right, it's cool. I will show you this one when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I'll see you soon. Uh, 